Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. Right here we've got the Solomon QST 106. Uh, QST 106 is an awesome ski, very, very versatile in the free ride category. At 106 underfoot, you can ski it in powder, you can ski it in soft snow, but it also will handle some firmer conditions as well. Um, no changes to this ski for the 2022 ski season other than a slightly updated cosmetic, uh, new top sheet graphic. Probably the my favorite change to this ski is that new base color. The base is one of the best looking bases I've seen on a ski in a long time. Um, aside from that, everything stays the same. So we get a poplar wood core. We get Solomon CFX super fiber or CFX material combination of carbon and flax. It's really cool. Carbon provides energy and responsiveness while flax adds some vibration damping. We also get cork in the tips and tails of the ski. Cork's a really cool material for ski. It's very absorbing, so it absorbs a lot of unwanted vibrations and by putting it in the tips and the tails, it's really noticeable in how it's quieting down unwanted deflections. Uh, and in a free ride ski, you know, something that you're probably going to be skiing in variable snow conditions, that's really valuable to have. Sometimes on a ski, you know, a light free ride ski, if you hit like a chunk of firm snow or like a chunk of ice out in the backcountry or, or just an off-piece terrain, it can kind of make the ski get all squirrely and, and wander on you. Um, but the QST 106 tracks really well, which I think is cool. 106 underfoot, which is probably pretty darn obvious, um, and a pretty substantial amount of tip and tail rocker. We do still get a nice amount of camber underfoot, uh, but plenty of rise in the tip and tail too. And again, to just go back to the idea that this is a versatile free ride ski, it, it, it truly is, and its shape I think is a good representation of that. You know, it's not like drastic early taper, good amount of camber underfoot like we just looked at, so at 106, with that much rocker, you're getting a good amount of float, you're getting good soft snow performance, but with the camera underfoot and the flex pattern of these skis from that poplar wood core and the CFX material, you get a pretty strong ski too. Um, Solomon has their Stance line of skis as well. The Stance 102 comes up as a, a comparison ski to this quite a lot. That ski is a little heavier, a little more precise, a little stronger, but the QSD 106 is certainly no slouch. Um, now, it now kind of sits in an interesting spot between the 98 and the new blank. It actually has a little bit less rocker than both of those skis. So although it's a substantial amount of rocker, somebody shopping within the QST line that wants a little bit more edge grip, ski that tracks better. So if you're thinking like choppy snow conditions, out west when you're skiing a, a bowl or some open terrain like later in the day on a powder day when things get tracked out this handles terrain like that really really well so it's kind of interesting how it it now differs than than both the 98 and the blank where previously it had more rocker than the 99 so kind of interesting there but i really like how it kind of lets you Let's you focus on your skiing style. I think people that prefer a more precise ski with edge grip and good stability are gonna prefer the QST 106, while a more playful skier, like somebody with kind of a freestyle background or, or that mentality, that playful mentality, may prefer the QST 98 or the blank, depending on what width you want. Um, this is a, a popular ski to mount the Solomon shift binding on. Certainly not surprising because you could argue that like this is the ski that the, the, that the shift binding was designed for. It's not the lightest ski in the world, but certainly light enough to use as a backcountry touring ski. Uh, so a number of different applications for the QST 106, which is a, a big reason why I think it's such a great ski. Alpine touring ski or hybrid alpine touring ski, I should say. Here on the East Coast, this is certainly wide enough and certainly enough rocker and soft snow performance to actually be somebody's dedicated powder ski. Maybe you're kind of like crossing over both those things and you put a shift on it and it's your resort powder ski and also your backcountry touring ski. But then think about somebody out West, you know, Jackson Hole or, or Tahoe or, or Colorado Rockies or something like that. 
Um, and I could easily see it being a daily driver. In fact, I've lived in places like that and I've used skis like this in this width range as my daily driver go-to skis. Um, so great ski, a number of different benefits that it provides. I think it can be enjoyed by a wide range of skiers, which, which, is, which is really valuable to have in a ski. Um, so that's the QST 106 from Solomon. Certainly let us know if you have any questions about it. Happy to talk more about it. And we will see you out there on the slopes.